Most of you guys have been asking how I moved from Notability to Noteful. That is what we'll be talking about in this video. There are so many questions on Noteful that we'll try to answer as much as possible in future videos. We'll take it slow, a video at a time. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Moving from one note-taking app to another is a process, one that might take months even. I use Notability since 2017. I switched to Zoom Notes for a brief moment, but I have been using Noteful as my main note-taking app for about five months now. For me, Noteful has successfully replaced Notability. It might seem obvious, but we must say it anyway. Before switching to a new note-taking app, make sure you know exactly what you're signing up for. That is why we recommend watching our complete reviews of all of these different apps, especially for Noteful, if you're planning to move to Noteful. Every app has limitations. That is probably why you're moving from your current app to the new one. It's ideal when you can move to a new application that has features you're missing without losing the features you love. Since you've built a workflow around the limitations and strengths of your current application, switching to a new app will disrupt that workflow and probably slow you down. That was the main reason why my switch to Zoom Notes was not successful. Our first rule for switching applications is the first replace then add rule. To appreciate this rule, our team created a simple checklist for switching applications. You can download it from our Patreon page or simply draft one for yourself. You can do this at once or over several days, several months by simply paying attention to the features you use most in your app. Make a list as specific as possible. For example, Despite everything that Notability can do with audio recording, I really only cared about syncing audio to my notes. But if you often edit the audio playback, merge and split your audio recordings, you want to add all those details to your list because it's important. You will be ticking off all of these features for the current app, which brings you to the next step. Now, you must make sure that the new application also ticks off all of the features you use often in your current application. It helps when you can try the application for free. So make sure all of these are ticked off. Step three is where you list all the reasons you want to leave your current application. What's frustrating you? What are you hoping to improve by switching from the old app? On this form, your current app doesn't have any of these features, so you can go ahead and note that. Now, focus on the new app. While trying it out, see how much of your wish list it checks off. You can even take this a step further and add new features in the app that excite you. So on my list, I added those in red. Those are not features I wanted, but I was excited to try out in the new application. Features that stand out. At the end of this exercise, I learned that I was using eight features in Notability, of which Noteful had one missing. No hex code was a massive deal breaker at first, but our team also wanted developers we can work with, so that was a good way to test that. And not full, added a hex code the moment we mentioned it in the first video we did covering the application. By then I'd switched to the app, of course, but it was nice to finally have responsive developers for a favorite app. Random thought. It's amazing when our team gets along with developers of apps we absolutely love. We have that with Noteful, Liquid Text, Kyoko Flashcards, Nebo, and WriteMapper. And no, they haven't sponsored us to give them a shout out in this video, but we thought we should. Noteful has five features that I was missing in Notability and five new ones that I was excited to try out. That brought the total of missing features from Notability to 10. 
This exercise is very important. It will save you time. You don't want to jump around from app to app, realizing each time that the application doesn't work for you. Take your time, study your workflow, pay attention to the features you repeatedly use. You use this template to evaluate if you should switch. Once I was sure that I was switching apps, I gradually left Notability, one notebook at a time over a period of time. Switching apps effectively changes your workflow so it doesn't happen overnight. For example, Noteful uses tags instead of folders. That dramatically improved how I organized my notes, but I had to learn how to use them. The Notability Notes format does not open in Noteful, so you have to convert all your notes to PDF. The notes become uneditable, which is fine for some notes, but not all of them. That is why we came up with a few rules to help you get the most out of your notes when you switch different apps. Create all your new notes in the new application. All the new notes that I created during my transition were in Noteful. This allowed me to slowly learn and understand how to use the application. The more I used it, the more natural and the more intuitive my workflow became in the application. You can move your notes on a neat basis. This is particularly important for Notability, which only exports one notebook at a time. I moved a notebook each time I needed to work on it. I simply exported a PDF of it from Notability. I only could annotate it, so I'd make notes on the side to comment on stuff that I've written. You should keep notes with unique features in the original app. This is very important for audio recordings because once you export them as PDF, the sync between your notes and your audio is cut. Once I finish using the audio recordings, I will then send those notes to Noteful. Each time I export my notes to the new app, I delete them in Notability, which also helps me to keep track of the notes that I still need to move. The minimalist in me won't allow double copies of anything. And once you finish moving the notes, obviously, you can delete the old application. So I have effectively, as of this video, I have effectively moved all my work notes from Notability to Noteful. All the notes remaining in the application are for studying the app. That is why I haven't deleted them. Notes that I create when creating videos for you guys and when studying to create videos for you guys. Let us know what other content you'd like us to cover on this channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you. Fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.